All right, so I know you're curious, how do we mop a floor? Why is it different with absolute luxury? We use a flat mop system. Um, we have all these different heads. For a smaller place like this, we may use three to four. Uh, in bigger houses, we could use eight or 10. But as the uh, mop heads get dried out, or if we use them in a bathroom, we put them in the dirty towel bag and do not put them back in the sink. Every uh, time we get a mop, every time we need to refresh our mop, we just get a new mop head. That way we're not spreading dirt and we're not spreading germs. So I have a sink full of clean water. Uh, these are hardwood floors, so we're using Murphy's Oil soap on them. We put just a little bit of Mur Murphy's Oil in there. Make sure that it's diluted in the water. Um, otherwise, the oil, if it gets stuck to one spot and you mop with it, it'll leave a big slippery spot. So make sure it's very well diluted. Put your mop heads in and we can start going. So, not sure if you can see me at this angle, but for uh, hardwood floors, you want to wring the mop heads very well. Because if you have too much water on the mop, then it can soak in between the um, slats of the wood and cause the floor to pop up. Also, too much water on certain finish will leave um, just rings. As it dries up, it'll leave little spots on the floor. So we don't want to leave any of those. Um, we put the mop head flat on the floor. We have our mop stick here. Um, it has Velcro on the bottom that attaches to the mop and it is adjustable height, so if you like a taller um, pole, that's fine. And I, thought, I like mine about medium. So, um, just stick it to the mop head. And on hardwood floors, you want to go with the grain of the floor. You see the floor is going that way. We do not want to go this way, because then if there are any streaks or anything, it'll show up even worse. Um, can't see it from that angle, but I do still have a little bit too much water on my mop, so I'm going to spread it around until it gets dried out, and I'll go back over that original area. So, be careful when you're putting, um, moving the chairs onto a wet floor. You just want to sit it right on top. Um, there are certain floor types that I put the chairs in place first. And then um, mop around them to keep from having little dots on the floor where the uh, water sits back on it. So, you always want to make sure when, as you're leaving everything is nice and neat. Let the feet things come off the chair. Push the uh, chairs in. Make them even all the way around. Makes the room have a finished touch to it. Leave your floor mats up, off of the floor, until the floor is dry. Um, in most cases, you're getting ready to walk out, out the door after you mop, so it is okay to leave the mats up. And if you put them down on a wet floor, it will ruin the surface of the floor. Um, and then we will be liable for leaving carpet marks on the floor. So, um, some houses we clean for elderly people, or some houses need to have a finished touch. So, just make sure that it's dry. And then put the max back down. Okay. This mop head's starting to get dried out. A little bit too dry become uh, effective for cleaning. So I will take this mop head, put it in my dirty towel bag. For now I'm going to sit it on the floor, not on a surface that's already clean. <laughs> and get a new mop head. So once I continue with the new mop head, I'll continue right out the front door and will not come back on this uh, floor. If you have to walk back on the floor when it's wet, then you got to remop it. So just keep that in mind when we never leave footprints. We always leave everything looking perfect when we leave the house.